Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a cubic system. We have x plus y plus z equals 0 and x, y, z equals 15. And we're supposed to find x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. We have three variables, but only two equations to work with. So that's kind of weird, isn't it? First of all, let's set z equal to 1. And then that's going to give us the following system, x plus y is equal to negative 1 and x, y is equal to 15. Now, if you go ahead and solve this system, you're going to get a quadratic equation from here. And you, by using Vieta's formulas or otherwise with the formula substitution, you're going to get something like t squared plus t plus 15 equals 0, where t represents x and y. Unfortunately, this equation has no real solutions. Too bad. Now, I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to consider a quadratic system, but this time I'm not going to replace z with anything. So since we have, let me rewrite the original equations, x plus y plus z is equal to 0, and x, y, z is equal to 15. From here, we can safely say that x plus y is equal to negative z, and x, y is equal to 15 over z. So this also gives us a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and write that by using Vieta's formulas. By using the same variable t, this gives us t squared plus zt plus 15 over z equals 0. Now t is the variable here. We're going to treat z as a parameter or a constant, whatever. Uh, so the solution is going to be in terms of z. So if you use the quadratic formula, t can be written as and I kind of simplify the process for you. So to keep a long story short, t can be written as negative z root z plus minus the cube, the square root of, not cube root of, z cubed minus 60 all over 2 times the square root of z. And this gives us two solutions. So suppose x is negative z root z plus square root of z cubed minus 60 all over 2 times square root of z, and y is negative z root z minus the square root of z cubed minus 60 all over 2 times square root of z. Now, if x and y have these values, what is x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed in this case, right? That's basically what we're trying to find. So in other words, cube the x and cube the y, which is this one. Same thing, but they're just conjugates, right? And cube the z. So we are interested in finding the sum of the cubes, and that's what it is. And Wolfram Alpha says it is 45. Wow, isn't that crazy? This is kind of like a complicated expression, and if you don't believe that, go ahead and try it out and see if you can get 45. Anyways, that's what Wolfram Alpha tells us, and let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, I'm going to do the following. Again, rewrite the equations. x plus y plus z is equal to 0 and x, y, z is equal to 15, and we're supposed to evaluate x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. Okay. So for my second one, I'm going to use a well-known, hopefully you, should, you know this too, a well-known formula, an identity. If you have x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3 x, y, z, this can be factored. One of the factors is x plus y plus z, and the other factor is x squared plus y squared plus z squared, minus xy, minus xz, minus yz. The second factor can also be written as one half times the sum of squares, which means it's, all, um, it's never negative. It's always a greater or equal to zero. But that doesn't matter. We don't care about that right now. We're interested in the following. We know that x plus y plus z is equal to zero, right? And we're trying to find the sum of the cubes. So if this is zero, Everything on the left-hand side, the whole thing becomes zero. So we can say that, hey, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz 
is equal to zero if x plus y plus z is equal to zero. How do we find the value of x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed from here? We can go ahead and isolate x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed and set it equal to 3xyz. And remember, we do know that xyz is equal to 15, the product. So we can basically replace xyz with 15. Let's go ahead and do that. And that gives us 45 as the answer, just like before, right? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. And we'll just conclude with that. So one more time, take a good look at this expression which is equal to 45. All right, great, so third method. For my third method, I'm going to be using a formula for the cube of a sum. So we could also call this the trinomial theorem. You know, we have a binomial theorem for things like x plus y to the third power, right? But we're in this time, we're going to expand x plus y plus z to the third power, which is the cube of a sum. And this is equivalent to x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed, obviously, right? You're going to have the cubes plus a very interesting term, and you can find out by factoring. It's a little painful, but expand it and then try to group terms and so on and so forth. But I'll give you what it is. It's this sum of cubes plus 3 times x plus y times x plus z times y plus z. Now, why is this important? It is important because if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then the left-hand side is going to be 0, the right-hand side is going to be 0, but also this is going to bring, uh, you know, other results such as from here, x plus y can be written as negative z, x plus z can be written as negative y, and y plus z can be written as negative x. So we're going to use these in our expression too. So since both sides are equal to 0, from here we get x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3 times x plus y, which I'm going to replace with negative z x plus z, which is negative y, and y plus z is negative x. And this is equal to 0. Why? Because x plus y plus z is equal to 0, so right-hand side equals 0 as well. Great, so from here we can do the following. And I know you're going to get the same result, but through a different method. Now notice that we are multiplying three negatives, so the result is negative. Minus sign, 3xyz equals 0, and this gives us x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed equals 3xyz. We're looking for x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed, but xyz is equal to 15, so the answer is 45. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.